All right, guys, on the previous video, we created a scene and now we're going to try and manually control it. Uh, so we're just going sequentially through uh, the list here. So we've figured out how to navigate, open a scene. We created a scene and now we're going to manually control that scene. Okay, so uh, before controlling a scene with an external controller, a PLC, for instance, it's recommended to test it manually. This way you can ensure that the scene layout works as expected, but first you need to learn what tags are and how they can be used to control parts. Okay, so any part that is a sensor or actuator has at least one tag. Tags are made of a name and a value that can be of two different types, sensor tags and actuators. Okay, so your sensors and your actuators that you're actually turning on. <clears throat> they can hold three different data types. Oh, that's cool. A Boolean, so on and off, right? So one or a zero. A float for analog values. And then you can also use an integer for a specific value. Tag values can be forced at any moment, allowing you to play the role of the controller. And to control your scene manually, you force the actuator tag simulating a value coming from the controller. Using the scene created on number three, creating a scene, try to transport the palette to the left conveyor. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up that one that we were just working on. So we'll go to open. Then we were, I labeled this turntable, tur <laughs> that's hard to say, turntable tutorial. So we'll open this bad boy up. There we go, and there's our conveyor. Let's just zoom in here so we can see what we've done. If you haven't done uh, looked at this video yet, then uh, go back one video in the playlist, and we'll be able to set this guy up with a pallet and a box on top of a conveyor. And now we've got to manually control this guy so it goes out and then it goes to left conveyor. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is it says switch to the run mode by clicking the play button. Show the actuator tags by clicking on the actuator tags button number two. Okay, so let's do that first. Okay, so play and then actuator tags. Okay, so we're going to go here and play. There we go. And now we've got to look at our actuator tags. So where is that? Maybe under, let's see. It says show the actuator tags by clicking on the actuator tags button number two. Oh, they've shown it was here. So play is right here and number two is right here so that setting cog right there should be it okay this guy actuator tags okay beautiful okay if you guys from factory io are watching this video then this is still really annoying when you hover over something and then the name is underneath your uh, your mouse it's just a little bit annoying everything else is mint but that's just a little bit annoying okay so that right there allows us to see all of our actuator tags if i click and get rid of that guy. You can see that um, everything is coming in there. So it looks like all of our tags are there now. Okay, what's the next step here? Left click on a tag to dock it. Once a tag is docked, uh, you can force its value. You can dock all tags and clear dock tags on the view menu. Okay, so we can individually grab a tag. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to turn on this roller conveyor, right? And get it moving in this direction okay and we can again see our direction right here so we've set up our conveyor in the previous video so that the direction of the conveyor is going to be going towards this turntable okay so we need to turn this guy on this roller conveyor so let's left click on that guy there we go so we'll left click on that and that brings up this tag and now that we're playing let's see if we can force this hey cool Very cool. Okay, let's uh, reset where we were before. Okay, so it said we could left click on that and bring it up. The other way we could do that was uh, you can force it value. You can dock all tags and clear dock tags in the view menu. Okay, let's go over here. So view menu and dock all tags. So we can click on this guy. Hey, cool. That uh, saves a lot of time. Um, for us, that might be a little bit too much because we really just want to be turning on the conveyors. We're not going to be making use of the sensors right now. We're just going to see if we can sequentially turn on each piece and get her working. And then later on, once we were trying to do our PLC program, then we could build up with our sensors as well. So we could manually put in the sensors, see how each thing is working and see how they're being tripped off. So this right here is a little bit too much for us right now. So let's go view and clear the dock tags, okay? And again, we wanna make use of this guy to start off, so we'll bring that guy up. 
Okay, let's go back to our instructions here. And that's basically it. Okay, so let's make this work then, guys, because that's everything that they've told us, which is everything we need to know. So we need to get this guy to go forwards, right? And if I just, let me see, double click over here, and we'll give just a different view of, uh, of what we're looking at here. So we need this guy to go forwards, and then it said move to the left here, right? It looks like the turntable's direction is uh, in a counterclockwise direction. So let's see, we'd have to turn on the roller conveyor, and let's just follow through because maybe I'm not sure um, there's a roller here, right? So we can just make that guy out there, right? Turntable roller, uh, but that's in the minus direction. And we've got turntable roller in the positive direction and then turntable turn. Okay, so let's play this first and see what happens. Okay, so let's force this roller conveyor first. See if it goes onto the turntable. Okay, cool. So now it's stuck, right? Okay, so we'll stop this for now. Okay, and then in order to bring it onto this turntable, I don't know whether we do turntable uh, negative or turntable positive. Okay, let's see. Once we are here, see this is in the way now, right? So that's because I can, I can grab these tags right here, the positive, right? But I can't seem to grab. The negative so let's reset this guy now I can actually use this negative and the positive okay and then after that we're gonna have to um, let's see that's a limit that's a diffuse sensor so we need this guy right here this other roller conveyor to turn on okay now can we change the sequence here because this is uh, roller conveyor two meter number two right and this guy over here is roller conveyor, conveyor two meter number three. So I really want this guy to be the last one there. Let's see if we can change. Okay, so that's kind of annoying. There must be a way that you can um, change the sequence of all those, um, but maybe it's just in the sequence in which we uh, chose it, but we chose that one the last. So we'll have to look into that, seeing if you can change the sequence of your tags here. Okay, so let's try this again. We're gonna turn on the roller conveyor. Okay. Donkey. That's roller conveyor number three. Okay, so this guy number three has to be turned on first. Okay, it gets us to there. Beautiful. And then we'll turn on maybe the positive here, right? And see how that works. Ah, nice, cool. Okay, we'll stop her there. Now we don't need this roller conveyor number three, so we'll turn that off. Okay. Then we need to turn this 90 degrees. And from the previous video, it was saying that this guy will turn in 90 degree increments. So now, turntable roll, turntable roll. Oh, we don't have the uh, the turn yet. Okay, so let's grab that now. Uh, turntable limit, uh, that's a limit, but how do you actually turn it now? Let's see here. Limit, front limit, ah, turntable turn. But again, I can't grab that whatsoever because my conveyor is on top. So let's just get rid of these guys. There we go. And we will tag this guy, turntable turn. Beautiful, we'll reset everything. Okay, and let's see, we're gonna do the roller conveyor number three. That brings us up to this point right here. Okay, then we'll turn on the positive for the turntable. Bring it forwards, stop it right there. Okay, we'll turn off the conveyor number three. We'll now turn it. So we'll force this guy right here and hopefully we'll turn 90 degrees in the direction which we're hoping to go over to this conveyor number two. So we'll force the turn. Hey, okay, that's cool. I like the sound effects too, okay? Very cool, okay? So we're over to this point. Um, and then let's see, we still need to be going in the same direction, right? So we need to be going turntable roller plus. So we'll start that guy up. Maybe we'll start up this next conveyor, right? Roller conveyor number two. And then it will just slide right over there. Okay, so we'll turn this guy on. Beautiful, so this conveyor is now working. You can just make out that they've got those dots there and you can see it with the animation there. Awesome, really cool animations, okay? And so the next thing we need to do is now turn on our turntable roller 
plus. So let's do that. Beautiful. Roller conveyor number two needs to be stopped. Very nice. And now we'll turn off turntable roller plus. Cool. We'll revert this back to our rest state. And that's it. Very cool. Awesome. So literally you have to just grab each of your tags, bring them over, or you can go to here and go view, dock all your tags or clear to dock tags um, to show everything. And then you just go through your sequence. And literally you can just take a, you know, an Excel or a Word document beside you and just write down your, uh, your sequence of events there. And from there, we'll build up our PLC program. So in this case, we want to have the roller conveyor number three turn on first, right? So we turn this guy on. Then when it hit that limit, then we could turn on the plus here. Okay. When it hit the next limit, we could stop it. If it went too far, we could bring her back a bit. Okay. And at that point, we could turn off the first conveyor. We'll turn the turntable. Okay, we'll turn on the next conveyor, number two. Okay, we'll go plus again with their turntable to bring it on there. There we go. And then once it gets to that next sensor right there, we can stop it right there. Beautiful. And then finally turn off um, our plus. Very cool. Right on. Now this guy also will just keep going. So just to, to show you that, um, you can insert some errors or if you don't have good control or maybe you forgot to put this diffuse sensor into your PLC program, and which would be coming hopefully in the next couple of videos, um, then watch what happens when the roller conveyor keeps going and we didn't put this diffuse sensor in to turn off that roller conveyor. So let's turn that guy on number two. And it just keeps going. Okay, so it's really cool. Like if you screw up and you forget to put that sensor in, it will just keep going. Or if there are other parts coming through, they'll just jam up the line there. So awesome, awesome program. All right, guys, we'll stop her there. That shows you how to set up your tags and then create a sequence of events that you can then use with your PLC programming. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.